is a, uh, what is it, a Baldwin or a Steinway sandwich? <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to uh, introduce these two gentlemen. Come on out front, would you? Sure thing. The one on my right is Teicher. The one on my left is Ferenti, depending where you're watching the show. <laughs> they are just great, and I wanted to bring them in this quiet light to show you how they look in your living rooms at home without all the lights on them. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you, you, Ernie. Thank you. Thank you. We are going to have now Dylan Todd. Will this in just a moment? <laughs> Don and Todd are strumming in the background because he didn't have time for rehearsal. I would like to say not only do I think Freddie and Tysha did a great job, but I think I should also say that Barry Shear did some exciting camera work on it. I think it's uh, the kind of... Uh, Actually, this morning we rehearsed a live show and a kinescope show and the whole thing in about an hour. And that's doing an hour of television an hour, and I think it's just magnificent. It deserves a lot of credit. It's wonderful. I'm very touched by good luck things that happen now and then. It's so happy a moment to see these things happen. They even bear repetition. Maybe this is a story you read about and were just as excited as I was. This is a, considered probably a 10,000 to 1 shot. Paul Hamilton, noted aviator and stuntman, fell out of an airplane 1,500 feet from the ground and landed right in the middle of the street. You don't hear any of those. <laughs> they don't all come out that way. My golly, every once in a while we get a break out of life. Am I charming when I wrinkle my nose? Hmm? Girls do that and they get by with everything. They wrinkle their nose naturally. I used to think a girl I knew was being cute and she had an a little allergy to my mustache. <laughs> or me. I was never sure. We are going to have a uh, guitar solo played. I would like to say that the guitar, for those of you who are sitting in the first two or three rows, has been sprayed with poof. <laughs> there will be no chance of offending. And uh, the gentleman behind it was sprayed for rehearsal time. <laughs> Some of it, actually, that they aimed at me got on him. So we're all sweet and clean smelling. And there's another guy with a mustache and a sloppy coat, and he's holding up two fingers, and he says, repeat that for two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> so let me tell you about this other gentleman here that I wanted so much to tell you about. Probably we don't get a chance to hear many of the things that go on behind colleges, fraternities, industries, laboratories. But Professor Phidias T. Fremel, the leading researcher at Johns University in Portland, Kansas, through 20 years of carefully observed experiments, believes that contrary to popular belief, the common barnyard rooster can fly to heights of 20,000 feet and can live on a diet of discarded leather soles. <laughs> but then again, Professor Fremel believes that if given the chance, he can do the same things himself. <laughs> bunch of insane people in the orchestra, that's all. They're all insane. We will have, uh, incidentally, our salute to uh, Mr. Von Grutz, the director of the National Library of Munich, who can dictate nine different letters on nine different subjects to nine different secretaries and nine different languages simultaneously. He also has nine wives and was arrested last week for bigamy. <laughs> where, okay. where is uh, Donald? ready? <laughs> you give up? I'll do this all afternoon. All right. Stephen Foster, a grand guy. <laughs> Down at the Brill Building here in New York, penned one the other day. I think this tune is going to hit big heights. What's in there? Steve? Steve is a good boy, and I think he's coming along fine. 
He's going to do the life of Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart, who played a clarinet. Here is Dial and Todd with Steve's great tune, Genie with the Light Brown Hair. Amen. 